Let the church say amen. Let the people of God say amen. Let the people that know God is good say he's good. Let the people who trust in him say, I still trust the Lord. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust. In thee, O Lord, we count on. Come on. Yes, in God we trust. Amen. That's on our currency. That's on our money. In God we trust. Do you trust God? Good morning. Trustee Barter and others who are logging on, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Uh, this Wednesday morning, September the 16th, as we uh, have our Bible study, we're so excited uh, to share this morning with you. Good morning, Miss Davis. And for others who are logging on, if you comment out there in the comments, I am able to uh, see what you're saying. Oh, I want to hear what you're saying, but I, I'm not able to at this moment. But uh, Lord knows, amen, I'm thankful for this uh, ability to come to you, to share with you the word. Good morning, Miss Sims. Good morning, Brother Lee Jeffries. Good morning, Miss Camp. Good morning, Miss Wittenberg. Yes, trust him. Good morning, Cuz. What's up, Brother Brown? Charles Brown up in Philadelphia. God bless you, Miss Sanders, uh, Miss Pearson. Excuse me, Miss Person, uh, Miss um, Fowler. Uh, good morning, Miss Ernestine, my friend in the Lord. Thank you, Miss uh, McGill, Miss Cynthia, Miss Bernice McGill. God bless you. Good morning. Amen. Good morning, Trustee Leonard. Good morning, Aunt Dot on the spot. Amen. Miss Karen uh, Patrick, classmate. God bless you. I love you. Amen. And Miss McCann, I know you can. God bless you in the D.C. area. Again, we are so excited about this opportunity. Uh, and hopefully this may be our last. We're trying to make this our last class on the omnipotence of God. Knowing that we can never uh, uh, study at all, but just enough to give us a foundation of God's power because of his knowledge, which is because of his omniscience and because of his omnipresence, because he's everywhere. Good morning, Earl. God bless you, brother. What's up, Doc? Amen. Good morning, Miss Edwards. Amen. Bow your heads with us in the word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Again, for allowing us assemble this morning, God, in various places throughout this city, throughout this county, throughout this state, throughout this country. God, throughout this world, we thank you. Father, for where two or three are gathered together in your name, uh, there you are in the midst. Father, we pray and invite your presence, your uh, 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 spirit, oh God, to guide us through these pages as we study about you, as we learn about you. And as we uh, challenge ourselves to be more like you, God, I pray that you would touch our minds, give us understanding, touch our ears, allow us to hear. And God, I pray that somebody's faith, God, will be enhanced today and help us be about your business. Thank you for those who will log on later. Thank you. Bless them. In Jesus' name, can everybody say amen? Huh? What you say? All right. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. God bless you because, man, I'm proud of you. Man, God saved me. Man, I'm glad he saved me. He saved me, brother. Good morning. Amen. Uh, Miss Kathy. Amen. Good morning, Miss Leach. Good morning, Miss Holmes. I'm just a nobody, Doc. Trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. And I know if God can do it for me. He did it for Moses. Amen. I, I, and I just thank him for... For, for looking beyond my faults, man, and seeing my needs. Thank you. I'm proud of all of you today who are logging on. Good morning, uh, Miss Adams. Amen. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a prime example, amen, of what God can do for an ordinary person who believes and trusts in him. And that's why we're talking about his power. And that's a wonderful place to start today because if you would turn with me to Matthew chapter 7, uh, we're going to look at, good morning, Miss Sanders, Miss Sheila Byers, Miss Henderson, 
God bless you. Now, as we look today at Matthew chapter 7, I want you to go down to verse 28. And one thing I want you to do is you look at chapter 7, amen, you will see that almost the entire chapter, amen, is read. Amen. If you will, glance a book, uh, look at, at, at Matthew chapter 7. Amen. Almost the entire, amen, uh, a chapter is read. The words in the Bible read is what Jesus, amen, himself said. Amen. Now, this is the word speaking the word. Amen. Isn't that awesome? This is the word, amen, uh, that, that became flesh speaking the word. And it's so important to know that if Jesus said it, amen, I guarantee you it'll work for you. But you got to have faith with it. Amen. Take yourself on the shoulder and say, I have to have faith with it. Yes, you can have the word all around you, but you got to have faith. Amen. To, to, to make it work. Amen. God bless you. Amen. It's like having a whole set of keys, but you got the wrong one. You have keys and you at the door, but you know that's not your door. You know your keys on your keychain don't fit that door. And that's why the old guys and the old Christians used to say, amen, prayer is the key to the kingdom. But faith unlocks the door. Come on, somebody had not heard that out there through the years of living. Amen. Through your lives of ser through your years of serving. And that's why you got to have faith. Faith is what makes it happen. God bless you. And somebody put that out there in the comments. Faith is what makes it happen. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Amen. To all of you. Amen. Good morning, Miss Smith. Amen. Katrina. Good morning, Sister Kimberly Curtis. God bless you. Good morning, uh, Miss Peggy Mills. Amen. Miss Janet. Amen. God bless you, Miss Dolores Shippey. Amen. Let's read verse 28, Matthew 7 and verse 28. Amen. We're going to be we're going to be on the on the move today. Amen. So be ready to move. We're going to try to make, move this thing. Ready to read verse 28. And it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. Amen. See, see, that's the difference between just saying it and you say it with faith. There's a difference between just saying it and saying it like you mean. I, I, I hear that sometimes. You, you got to mean what you say and say what you mean. And that's what Jesus taught. He spoke that way. And that's why as a parent, you got to have confidence. Amen. When you're parenting, you just can't tell them to sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Next thing you know, all everything messed up in the house. You sit down. If you say it right the first time, they know you mean business. And that's why in church work, in faith, in preaching, in praying, in singing, amen, you, you got to be prayed up and ready to work. Amen. You just cannot go through the motions. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God is good. Amen. And worthy to be praised. Amen. You just cannot go through the motions. Amen. All right. God is good. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Because when, when, when that occurs, Amen. It, it, it allows us to know, amen, that there's something about Jesus. Amen. So he said he they were astonished at his doctrine. Say doctrine. Doctrine is his method of teaching. Amen. Doctrine is doctrine is his his information, is the truth in what he's teaching. And that's why when 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 in education, amen, or in, in preaching or in other any other thing, amen, they call it. Amen. When you get your doctorate degree, your doctorate degree, amen, is 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 the highest uh, degree per man standards that you can uh, obtain in any category of learning. Amen. So that's why, again, they call it the doctorate degree. When you get there, you should know what you're talking about. When you get there, you should be able to emphasize and express yourself in such a way that others can uh, uh, grow from your articulation of that topic. Amen. If you got it now. Amen. And, and, and I want you to know that, that you can get a doctrine degree in faith without going to the Bible school. Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> yeah, you can get it. Amen. Just by spending time with God. And that's what Jesus did. Jesus did not go to the university of the university. No, he did not go there. 
but he went down on his knees and spent time with God on the mountain and down in the valley, in the streets, amen, out there in the fields, out there near the wells, in churches, in the synagogue. He spent time, and that's what you, we are doing today, amen. We're spending time studying and growing, and, and your growth can excel others who, who may go to Bible school. Because they're going for one reason, but but we're learning about God for the right purpose, and that's for his power, and so that we can help others to grow. Go down to verse 29, if you will, please. Matthew chapter 7, verse 29. Amen. Matthew 7, verse 29. Ready? And let's read. And read loud as you can. Ready? Read. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This scripture said he taught with authority and not as the scribes. See, the scribes are people who were, was transcribing. Can you say transcribing? Amen. The word scribe come from transcribe or from uh, subscription. You got to write it. Amen. These guys and, and people of this biblical time would get copies of the Bible. They didn't have a Xerox. Amen. They didn't have, amen, a Lexmark. They did not have a HP. No, no, they didn't have those type of printers. Amen. They had old press and hold. <laughs> That's what they had. Pressing their fingers together, holding a pen or some type of instrument. And they were right. That's why they called the scribes. So when you see scribes in the Bible, those were the guys who just copied it down. They had, and in that time, there were limited copies of the Old Testament, amen. Uh, they, they copied it down, but just because you copy it down don't mean it's in your heart. The Lord Almighty. Just because you copy it down does not mean it's in your mind. Just because you don't copy it down, amen, does not signify the fact that you're growing in grace and wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and power, and in righteousness in God. Amen. That only happens for those who have faith and, and, and talk with faith. See, Jesus talked with authority. Amen. Amen. And that's why the people were flocking to him. Amen. And, and that's uh, we all are, are, are different. And, and, and there's a style for you. Amen. There's a style for you. Amen. And I thank God that, 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 that we can study together. Our styles mesh. Amen. But you got to find that style that enhances your spirituality. Just don't go to waste time. Just don't go to say you went. Just don't go, amen, to, to say you were there. Just don't go to get your program to take back to work to prove that you went to church Sunday. Amen. God bless you. But you got to go for a purpose. And that purpose is to get that authority from the word and begin to use it in your life. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Little John out in Brooklyn, New York. Linda Faye, God bless you. Amen. Good morning, Miss Gloria Davis. God bless you. Miss Patricia Harris. Good morning, Miss Kemp. Amen. God bless you. Amen. If you will, amen. Uh, it says here, if you go with me, Brother Dean Gaffney, God bless you, brother. Amen. It says, amen, uh, Miss Callie Stewart, good morning. Amen. Now, if you go with me, amen, to uh, Matthew chapter 10, we're we going we gonna, to we gonna move through this thing today. God bless you. My question is, in the Bible, tell me who were the scribes? Who were the scribes in the Bible? What does that what does that mean? Amen. God bless you. Matthew chapter 10. We did that say 10. Amen. 10. Here we go. Here we go. Good morning, Miss Davis. Good morning, Connie Weeks. Good morning, Miss Drain. Amen. In Western North Carolina. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All right. God bless you. Good brother. Good morning, brother Proctor. Love you, man. All right. All right. All right. Miss Lisa Pelle. Pelle. Good morning, brother Terry Wright. God bless you, man. I can't be wrong with brother Terry Wright. I love you, my friend. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Keisha. Yes, transcribing. Thank you so much. Describes. Yes. Yes, you got to say that thing like you mean it and, and mean it. Not only like you mean it, but actually mean it. Mean that gospel. God bless you. Amen. Matthew 10, verse 1. Amen. Amen. Let me get there. Matthew 10, verse 1. Amen. Say glory. 
All right, here we go. Ready to read. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Amen. If you have a Bible, I want you to highlight that. Matthew 10, verse 1. Amen. He gave his disciples. Amen. Power. And my question to you is, amen, are you a disciple of Jesus? <clears throat> See, when you become a disciple of Jesus, he'll begin to start giving you power. He'll start giving you power to tell people no. <laughs> See, some people can't tell people no. They always get tripped up, fumble up, messed up, tangled up, tied up, amen, and get messed up. And sometimes they get jacked up. Y'all don't hear me in here. Amen. And if they drink some, they might get tore up from the floor. Y'all don't hear me in here. I feel like talking this morning. But when you become Jesus' disciple, when you make a decision in your life that I want to do better, amen, he'll begin to give you power. Uh, and notice what he said. He gave his disciples power. Notice they had spent time with him. He just didn't give it to them off the cuff. No, no, no. You you, you don't get the key to the building unless you've been working there for a year or two. You just can't come in on day one and get it. Amen. So it said he gave them power. Amen. Uh, he gave all his 12 of them. Somebody put 12 of them. Amen. He gave them all power. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to help somebody understand if other people spend time with God. Why? Can't God give them power? Why you got to be the one to get it all? Why are you the one that think you're the only one that can sing a song? Why are you the only one that, that, that feel like you can fill out the information or fill out the application or fill out the program uh, for the past? God has many soldiers. And when the body of Christ understands that he gives power to all of his children, the church will be better and stronger. Amen. When, when, when the husband and wife realize, amen, that both of them have power, then maybe they'll stop pulling it on one another and pulling. Amen. He equips us all with power. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Man, y'all do it. Good morning, Reg Williams, my friend and brother. Love you, man. Amen. And again, if you don't come in, I can't see who you are. Amen. And, but but I just want this. I want to know that you out there because I have friends. Y'all, I love y'all. I love y'all family and friends out there. Amen. That we are studying this thing together. Miss Mary Winberg, the Reverend Dewey Winberg, the legend himself. God bless you. Good morning. Amen. Spencer Brandon, Miss Bratton. Amen. God bless you. Now, notice what he said. He gave it to all of them. He gave them power, but I also want to share with you this too. Notice what the power do. He gave them power, number one, it says, against unclean spirits. Amen. Unclean spirits. Some of us have a different a degree and level of discernment than others, but you have a little bit in you. Amen. Sometimes you just say, I had that feeling that he wasn't right. Maybe that's that power, some of that power God gave you to distinguish when a spirit is bad. Amen. Sometimes you can't recognize devilish folk. You can just get near them. And something just ain't right. You feel, somebody said, I got the creeps. Amen. I looked at him and he gave me the creeps. And I looked at her and she gave me the jibby weebies. <laughs> Sometimes God will allow you, amen, to understand there's a, a foul spirit around you. Amen. Sometimes he will. But that's why you got to be careful. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Chambers. Amen. God bless you. T.C., Trustee Norris. Thank y'all. Y'all getting them all right. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Man, I can't wait to get back to give y'all some candy for these right answers. I got to give y'all some candy. Y'all are doing it up out there today. Second thing, he said he and he gave you power against them. See, that's against them. That's that's to recognize them. Amen. And don't let them overtake you. The second thing he said, and to cast them out. To cast them out. You got power to cast them out. You got to learn how to use it. If God gave it to you, you can't lose use it. You can't learn how to use it 
amen, by hanging around the wrong folk either. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you got it, amen, I hope you know if you have it or not. Amen, I hope you know if you have it or not. If you don't, you need to pray and talk to God. You need to pray and get on your knees and start seeking. Amen, start seeking. God bless you. Yeah, the, the heebie-jeebies, Miss Davis, the heebie-jeebies. Someone right when they walked by me. And they was up to no good. <laughs> God will let you know sometime. I know, no. Y'all, you coming with us? No, I'm, I'm headed home now. <laughs> yeah, God will let you know. Good morning, Tip McGill. Now, notice what it said here. And then he said, and to heal all men of sickness. Some of you got the power of healing and don't even know you have it. Because you never touched anybody to pray for them. You never laid your hands on the sick. You might be the one that has it. Amen. But most people call for the pastor. Yeah, the pastor's got it. Yeah. All people of God, amen, and some of us have different abilities. Now, keep in mind that John the Baptist was the greatest preacher. That was before Jesus. But the Bible said John the Baptist did no miracles. All pastors and preachers are different. Some have uh, one or two or three great things they can do, and others, God bless them differently. Amen. But know what you can do. Amen. Tap yourself on the shoulder. Come on, come on, come on. And say, no. Amen. What you can do. And then make it personal. Say, I have to know what I can do. You got to know what your strengths are. Amen. If you can't play in the infield, you better go in the outfield because that ball coming hard in the infield. <laughs> if you can't play in the outfield, if it's too high for you, you can't see small objects coming down out the sky. You better move to the infield. You with me? Yeah. You got to know what your strength and weaknesses are. A lot of people in church are out of position. A lot of people at church are out of position. Y'all, excuse me, the phone is ringing. All right. Some people are out of position. Amen. Excuse me. And and and, and um, we we'll let that answer machine get it. But 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 you have to understand. Amen. How God works. Amen. Number three, it said, and all manner of disease. Amen. Maybe you have the corona healing in your hand. Amen. But you're so scared to get around somebody and to pray for them. But maybe you have it. Amen. That's why the most sisters, I believe, amen, and some of them were deaconesses and some of them were just old sisters at the church and brothers at the church. Amen. Some of those people have to hear the power of healing. And that's why they'll go visit people. And that's why, again, I tell people, you need to let people know when you're going through something. And that's why we make those announcements, because there are some prayer warriors out there that have that power, amen, to get your healing to you. But I don't want to tell nobody. I'm embarrassed about it. Well, you be embarrassed about it and just live with the problem then. Because we just read, well, God gave us power over sickness and disease. Somebody, I'm trying to get out of here. Amen. Luke uh, 21. Luke 21. Y'all having a good morning this morning? Yeah. Yeah. And he gave them. Oh, you, yeah. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. God lets his people know. Especially when you say. Now, if you can't tell the difference, maybe you one of them. <laughs> Maybe yo 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 your, your senses go off when you're around people that's trying to live right. And you and you don't see some people who wrong don't want to be around people who live right. See, that's that's the other side of the story. They know you want to live right, they don't want to be around you. And they don't want to come to your party because they know you got punch and sprite. <laughs> and the strongest thing you got is ginger ale on ice. <laughs> See, they, they avoid us too. When they realize there's some God in us, some of them don't want to be around us. And that's why I love to be in church. I, it's good to be around like-minded folk. It's good to, to be around worshipers and praisers. It's good to be around those who celebrate God by saying hallelujah and stretching their hands toward heaven. Amen. Amen. I, I, amen. I, I, I don't feel out of place, but if I'm the only one, I'm going to praise him. <laughs> if I'm the only one, amen, it's going to be me and the Lord in the lights. Amen. We're going to have a good time. 
But you got to get to that point, amen, when you understand and recognize and how I'm not telling you to judge people, but you need to be observant. The Bible says you will know them by their fruit. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you know. I'm not telling you to judge nobody. No, no. But you better be you better be aware of the folk around you. That's all Reb saying. Amen. Touch yourself on the shoulder. Say, got to be aware. Say, I got to be aware and beware. <laughs> Come on now. That's a double, that's a daily double right there. You have to be aware and be and be aware. <laughs> God is working on this thing this morning. Amen. Luke chapter 21. I'm trying to get there. Amen. I got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Luke 21 verse 15. Luke 21 verse 15. Now I want to talk about this because this is so important. Amen. Amen. Verse 15. If you dare, say glory. Amen. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all read me? I want you to read it with me. Read out loud if you can. If you can't, you whisper. Amen. If you can't do that, just move your lips and, and think about it. Ready? Let's read. Settle it, therefore. Excuse me. Yeah. 15, 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom. Which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist. Yeah. He said, I'm going to give you, I'm going to touch your mouth with wisdom. If you start hanging out with me, I'll change the way you talk to them. You used to fuss and cuss all the time, but now since you have Jesus, now you're able to look at them and smile. Amen. See, God give you power to handle it that way. And some people don't have the power to handle it God's way. Amen. They don't. Amen. They, they, they're handling it the wrong way. Amen. God bless you. So that's why, again, once you get that power, you'll change. When God began to give you power toward salvation, notice I said toward salvation, because he gave the disciples power here before he rose from the dead. What? Yes, God sometimes give us power to sustain us until we come full believers and baptized in him. But that's not saying that you don't believe, but you have not believed enough to go get baptized yet. Yeah, there is a difference. Well, y'all, you got yeah, you got to believe, but but Jesus Himself said, "I must fulfill all righteousness," and so He even went to get baptized. And my question to you, my sister and my brother, is: Have you been baptized yet? What you waiting on? Mm -hmm. Even in the midst of COVID, we still can put water in the baptismal pool. <laughs> I'm going to wait till we come back. You might not get to come back. I might not get to come back. You got to do it while you can. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Yeah. So he'll touch your mouth. That's why one of the key phrases in, in the old song is this. Amen. Amen. Again, about the mouth. Amen. Notice, look at my hands. My hand look new. Look at my feet. Did it do? See, God began to, when you get God's power, he began to change do you the way you do. And when he began to change you, you got to cut the devil loose now. You can't have God and the devil. <laughs> no, you can't do that. You can't do that. God, 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 God said so you can't love too. Trying to love too. Sure ain't easy to do now. Show ain't easy. Some of y'all remember that one? Yeah, that, that's the old hit there. Huh? Are y'all with me? Amen. Now notice what it says here. Good morning, A-A-double-A. -A -A. God, good morning, Miss Angela Andrews. I love you so much. All right. Here we go. Brian Chapel, good morning. Oh, man, we stood in here this morning. Now, which all your adversaries shall not be able to. So, so when they try to argue with you, God can give you words to use. And that's why they get mad at you. You, you, you say something and then they get mad because you didn't push them or cuss them out or draw a knife out on them. That's what they wanted you to do. They got the hand on something down in their purse. Purse. Yeah, women. Yeah. Let them women fool you. 
He got his hand in his book bag. You, you, you better keep on walking. He ain't holding no sandwich in there. <laughs> you better go on somewhere. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. Y'all are awesome out there. Wonderful group of, of biblical uh, students there. Miss Full Wiley, God bless you. Amen. If you will, if you can. Amen. You just say, God is good. All right, here we go. Our next verse today is Acts chapter 1. Amen. Now, this is, we looked at where he gave the power to them before they got uh, uh, believed. See, in order to get saved, you got to believe that Jesus died and rose again. So that's why the Holy Ghost had not yet come. The Holy Ghost did not. He was the Holy Ghost was 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 in the world because again we, we read that God is a spirit. Yeah, the, that's the Holy Ghost. He gave us power before He rose from the dead. But after He rose from the dead, then if the, the 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 mission was complete, then He could give the Holy Ghost to us personally in our bodies. So not only do you have power. But also you have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So you got a double uh, level of power in your life. Amen. See, some people are only operating on that first power he gives. That's why they love church, but they're not saved yet. They respect the preacher, but they're not saved yet. They honor mother and father, but they're not saved yet. Amen. They understand the difference between sinner and saint, but they're not saved yet. They understand the difference between good and bad, but they're not saved yet. But when they get saved, amen, something else happened. Can somebody tap yourself on the shoulder and say something else happened? Something else happened. Something else. These disciples, these 12 disciples had power. But, but when Jesus got up from the grave early that Sunday morning and they got together in the upper room where we're getting ready to look at it, Acts chapter, chapter 1, amen, something else happened. Good God Almighty, I feel good in here. I feel good. I feel good. I feel like rolling. I feel like preaching. Mm-hmm. I do. I do. I do. Now, notice what it said in Acts chapter 1. Let's look at this. Because we're talking about power. Man, time flying when you're having fun. Man, it sure is. Acts chapter 1. We got to try to cover this thing. Go down to verse 8. Man, I don't think we're going to get through today. <laughs> right at Acts 1 and verse 8. Amen. Now, 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 I want you to read this with me. I sound like President Obama now. Now, 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 <laughs> now, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Everybody, loud as you can, read, loud as you can. Ready and read. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both. In Jerusalem and in all Judea mm -hmm, and in Samaria and unto the other part of the earth. Amen. Now notice what this said. Now after the, you become a believer, you get more power. You get more power. So my question to you is, do you believe God or you just hang around people who believe God? <laughs> do you believe God or you just... Hang around people who believe God, because if you believe him, why, why aren't you victorious over some of these areas of your life? If you believe him, why don't you pray the prayer of faith and, and, and do different than, than you've been saying you're going to do and do it? If you got power, God don't have to give you power. If you believe it, you got the power to do it. That's why mama can't do it for you. Daddy can't do it for you. That's why you're around certain people when you're around them. And then when you get around them, then you go acting like those jeebie jeebies again. <laughs> See, God is consistent. Amen. He's consistent. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Barnum, Miss Little John. Good morning. Amen. He's consistent. He's consistent. Can somebody put that out there? He's consistent. He's consistent. So again, this says he'll give you power. Amen. After the Holy Ghost come upon you. That's why the song say go back to the altar. Down on your knees and stay there until you get the Holy Ghost power. Yeah, you have power to do some things. But, but in order to do the rest of them things, you need the Holy Ghost power. Huh? 
Are y'all listening to me? Huh? Yeah. So my brothers and sisters, Pastor Bridges want you to be victorious. But you cannot be victorious until you get serious about your Christianity. When you get serious about your Christianity and going and serving God, notice what the next thing you do. Not only over the devil, over sickness, amen, to cast out the devil and disease. He said, now you're going to have power to be a witness. Yeah, you're going to have power to be a witness. Yeah, and notice what he said. First of all, I want you to be a witness in Jerusalem. <laughs> See, you, you need to be a witness where you are, where you get saved at. Start there. A lot of people get saved and want to go to the big city. No, start where you are. Start where you were. Look at, look at your neighbor and say, you got to work yourself out. Work out. Somebody say work out. Amen. Anybody here ever threw a rock in a pond or a pool or a swimming pool or mud puddle or anywhere? Uh, even in even in your sink washing dishes, there's nothing in there but water and suds. And, and you drop something, you drop one drop of grease right down in the middle, wash them suds back up. Amen. That's just an ex example I want to use, an example of you throwing a rock into a pool. And you can throw it right in the middle. And I said that Sunday, right smack dab in the middle. You can throw it right there in the middle and it'll, it'll ripple effect out. Start where you are. Impact where you are. A lot of people want to go and start on the outside. Jesus said, no, don't start on the outside. You start impacting where you are. Start in Jerusalem. That's where they got the Holy Spirit at. And then as they went farther, let me explain it to you. Jerusalem is the city. Amen. Judea, amen, if, if it was a, a state or county, J Judea, amen, Jerusalem is in Judea. Amen. Amen. So in other words, he's saying you're spreading out. Amen. Are, are you spreading the gospel? Or only you only do your gospel when you when you're looking at your 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 TV or you're reading it by yourself and you're listening in your car singing. But when you get to church, you don't sing, you don't pray, you don't say amen, you just rubbernecking all service. Amen. Y'all don't know folk like that rubbernecking all service, do you? Somebody holler, they looking to see who it is. Somebody shouting, they're looking to see who it is. Hey Amen. Somebody dropped the pocketbook, looking to see who it is. <laughs> Stop trying to look at them and start looking toward Jesus. <laughs> if you start looking for Jesus, those minor distractions won't even get your attention. You'll be so concentrated on the word and the song in your worship. You don't have time to see who else worshiping. Good God Almighty, I'm trying to help somebody understand. You got to get put your time in. Are you putting your worship time in? Are you getting your, getting your groove on in the spirit of God? Amen. Because if you don't, sooner or later, you're going to be wanting it. Amen. And you're going to be able to miss too many opportunities. And God's going to help you ease on out of this world. You better praise him while you can. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Miss, Miss Callie, all the way up in Ohio. Amen. Good morning, Miss Rashford. Good morning, all of you, Miss Hicks. Good morning, Brother Tim, my friend, Hoy. Amen. Good girl, not the pearl, the music man of the world. That's him. Piano man, my friend. God bless you. Now, notice what it said here, man. We're going through this thing. And then it said in, in Samaria. The Samaria was on the other side. So Samaria, uh, 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 Judea is like Cherokee County. And Samaria is like Spomberg County. Just moving on up a little bit farther. Amen. And that's why, again, if, you, if you're a Christian, amen, uh, are you only a Christian in your house and on your street? Everywhere you go, you ought to take the Lord with you. Amen. You ought to take the Lord with you everywhere you go. Good Lord Almighty. And Samaria. So in other words, and then he said, and then after you do that, and then I'm going to really spread you out with the gospel. Amen. Chapter 2. Man, we got to get out of here. Man, this is so much. Y'all, I thought we was going to get through today. But good Lord Almighty. We're going to have to roll over. Somebody shout roll over. We're going to have to roll it over. <laughs> We're going to have to roll it over like overtime. We're going to have to go into an overtime session like Oprah used to do. Oprah after the show. We're going to we're gonna have to put some, 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 some extensions on this 
because it's it's so good that that that, that I, I, we want to share it with you. I just can't skip it and move on to the next one, because I believe somebody's life is being enhanced today. I believe somebody's life is being transformed. I believe somebody, amen, is moving down to higher ground. I believe somebody now is beginning to understand, amen, who's with you and who's against you. I believe somebody today is beginning to understand the power of your praise. And that's why we talked about Sunday. There's power in preaching because Jesus taught with authority. He was teaching with authority. He, he, everything he did, he did with authority. Even when he told the wind to stop blowing, he spoke with authority. And the wind stopped moving. Amen. My authority, tap yourself on the shoulder and say authority. You got to move with authority. The authority of Christ. Now don't go overstep authority of your pastor. Don't go and overstep the authority of the deacons. Don't go and overstep the authority of the trustees and the administrative staff. Don't go and overstep the authority, amen, of the, uh, of the, of the youth department and all the departments in the way the church is set up. Amen. That's not saying that. But that's saying you got to still operate in all decent in order, but yet use your authority when need be. God bless you. Man, we're trying to move on here, but I feel like I need to say a few more things. <laughs> you have to do well. Oh, boy. Acts chapter 2. Let's get there. The day of Pentecost. Amen. So he had told them that you're going to get power, and let's see what happened. Out of all the things we've already talked about, amen, let, 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 let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Amen. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Oh, Lord. Around Acts chapter 2, verse 1. We're going to try to read this quickly so we can get to another section right quick. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. You dare say verse 1. God bless you. My brothers and sisters, let's read this thing together. Read out loud. Make the devil mad. Read and read. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord. In one place. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of things don't happen in a house, in a home, in a friendship, in a business, in a church, on a team, unless it's unity. It's got to be unity. It's got to be unity. That's why that God had to kick the devil out of heaven. Because he had some, some evil thoughts and thoughts that wasn't holy. No, you, you, no, you got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, God made him for heaven. God made you for heaven. He made you for heaven. So, so have you accepted that gift of Christ? Amen. Have you accepted the gift of Christ? The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. He designed us for heaven. He designed us with a soul and mind and heart to get right and saved and get fixed so that we can go to heaven. But you got to want to go. Everybody don't want to go to heaven. Especially if you watch them old movies, them, them gangsters and stuff. They, they tell you, man, I don't, I, I'll see you where they going. You ever heard that in a bad, bad movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a lot of folk, amen, uh, want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. But let me tell you something. You got to die to get there. Flesh and blood can't get there. And that's why it's so important that you we make these preparations and by faith so that, you know, I, I, I may not have all my finances together, but I'm on my way to heaven. <laughs> Car might be smoking, but I'm going to heaven. I'm not joking. I'm <laughs> Yeah, you got to make up your mind and position yourself to, to go there. Now, notice what he said. He said, there was in one place and one accord. I, we'll talk about the rest of this later. Verse 2, I got to move. We got to move. We got to move. We got to move. Good Lord knows I want to talk about this thing a little more. Verse 2, ready to read. And suddenly, amen. So hold right there. I was waiting for my brakes to work. I knew that work. So you, you, your brakes will work when you need them. Uh -huh. Might not use them the whole trip, but when you need them, they're there. Okay, we just heard the breaks. Amen. What's the second word in verse 2? Hmm? I'm going to give you about five seconds to think about it. Somebody put it out there in the comments for me. Amen. What is 
Amen. The second word in verse 2 in Acts chapter 2. And suddenly, suddenly, can y'all say suddenly? Amen. And suddenly, God bless you. It said, there came, please continue the verse with me. There came a sound from where? Where did the sound come from? Heaven. They was on earth. And you mean to tell me when people get together, God can move in the, up, up in heaven? Yes. Yes, he can move up there when we get together down here. And that's why it's been important, amen, that you have like-minded friends. Now, some people going to want to hang with y'all and call y'all stuck up and sophisticated and miss good at two shoes and he think he got it going on or they think they bad. Or, no, no, we don't. No, we don't. Amen. We, we just understand that we, we we help each other. Amen. We understand that the iron shop is iron. Amen. We understand that we have bring the best out of each other. Amen. We understand that with Kobe and Shaq on the team, we can win the championship. Well, I understand, amen, that you can have, amen, other great folk around you, but you got to have the right folk around you. Because if you don't, you, you, you're wasting your time. You're going through life wasting time. When you get to heaven, God's going to say, why, 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 I'm wasting I had the right folk with you. I had the right folk for you. Amen. I had the right power with you. And, and you didn't want to do nothing. Going over there. You in heaven, but going over there. So what's all this pile of stuff and, 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 and material? What's all of this? All these blessings. He said, them would have been yours if you would have been doing right. <laughs> them would have been yours if you would have been praying and, and trying to help others grow. You was trying to keep it all to yourself. And with you keeping it to yourself, that's what it is. That's yours right now. <laughs> Amen. So you got to understand how to help other people grow. Touch yourself on the shoulder and say, I got to help other people grow. Amen. Say, I, come on, repeat after me. Watch my lips. I have to help other people grow in Christianity. Amen. Now, I want you to tap yourself on the other shoulder. Amen. On the other shoulder. And then repeat after me. I must let other people help me to grow. Get a lot of money. I think we just had a breakthrough. Somebody just had a breakthrough. Yes. You, we, we help others and others help us. Get a lot of money. That's all Rev trying to say. Amen. We got to get out of here. Amen. Get a lot of money. Time flying when you're having fun. Verse 3, I believe. Verse 3. Amen. Amen. No, we didn't finish verse 2. Good Lord. We stopped at heaven. Amen. Please continue with heaven. Heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Good Lord of money. They were sitting. They, all of them were there. And the Bible tells us, amen, there in Acts chapter 1, amen, uh, um, there that it was, I think it said it was 120 of them there. Amen. 120. Amen. And while they were there, amen, the Bible said they were sitting. So in other words, they were organized. Isn't it amazing when the pastor say, well, you may be seated, uh, uh, you know, and, and unless you're in the spirit and shouting or, or worshiping or something, sometimes the, the direction is the unity. Y'all with me? Now y'all see the importance of the call to worship? Now y'all see the importance of when the deacons used to, especially in the old days, they used to sing a few songs, a uh, verse, they ask everybody to stand up. They'll sing two or three verses. And then they'll set everybody back down. That was showing unity in the worship. People said, what are they doing up there? They're trying to get you to obey and follow the unity of the worship. Oh, man, I ain't standing up, man. They want me to stand up. Man, I've been standing up all day at work. That, well, that, that's more reason for you to stand up at church. <laughs> I think you ought to give God some praise. He done bless you to stand up at work all day. Good Lord Almighty. I'm just, whoa, boy, I feel good up in here. Yes, I do. Now, notice what it said. It said that came a sound from heaven, a rushing mighty wind. And Sunday, we preached about Ezekiel. And some of you may have not seen it yet. You need to go see Sunday's worship because it hits on this. Preaching to the wind, the bones got life. The rest of it, you're going to have to go see the sermon on that. This past Sunday, you got to go watch it. You got to watch it. I'm telling you, it will impact your life. It will help you understand the power in your voice. Death 
and life is in the power of the tongue. That's why you got to speak right. That's why I don't like negative folk. No, no, go, go on. Go ahead now. Uh, uh, mm -mm. I, I want to hear all that mess. Amen. And sometimes you can get caught up in mess and it'll mess with your faith. You can't let that happen. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Little John, Miss Vicky. Amen. You, 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 can't, you can't let it mess with your faith. That's why you need to be aware of, of, of who, who, who can uh, help you grow in your Christianity and who can stunt your growth. Yeah, hanging around certain people wanting to be with a certain crowd can stunt you. And that's what happened to a lot of people. Their, their spirituality is stunted because they, 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 they want to be popular. They want to be seen, but they don't, they don't want to do the necessary work to grow. Amen. We all getting older here. I'm, I'm not old as I want to be, but I'm not, amen, young as I used to be. <laughs> and, but in this journey, I'm trying to get, trying to grow every day. You got to grow every day. Good Lord Almighty. Uh -huh. When you begin to show God that effort, he'll show you that power. Huh? Y'all, did y'all hear that? When you show God that effort, he'll show you that power. Now notice what he said. They were sit down and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Down there in verse 3. Verse 3. We got to get out of here. 3. Let's do 3 and 4 together. 3 and 4. We're going to do a daily double. Ready, read. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. Talk about that Sunday. Felt like fire shut up in my boat. See, the Holy Ghost make you move. We never How, what they doing? And maybe you don't have enough faith yet. <laughs> One day they hit you. When, 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 when they get right, you, you, you know, you know, you know. But like Shirley sees out there playing church out there in the yard with her brothers and sisters. Shirley grew up around the church. See, she had power, but she didn't have that, that, that forgiven, but that salvation power yet. She was out there jumping one day. And one day she jumped and it got on her. <laughs> and she never been the same. She's still singing. Over 80 years old, still singing. Amen. Over 80 years old, still preaching. Amen. And that's what God will do. Amen. God will use you. Amen. I said, y'all, God, don't, don't, don't use me till you use me up. Amen. I want to live. So come on. God can use me. Come on. Anywhere and anytime. See, you just can That just don't happen anywhere. You got to live right and do right. I want to live. So God can use me anywhere and anytime. Yeah. Huh? See, if you want to be used, but you got to position yourself. They were positioned in verse 4. We got to get out of here. Verse 4. Amen. And they were all filled. Hold right there. Uh, more breaks. They were all filled. All of the 12 disciples had power. God want to fill up everybody in the church. Not just the pastor and, and, the, and the associate ministers and the deacons and, 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 and the trustees and, and, the, and, and those who sat on the first two rows. God want the back row. God want the one that's come to church and brought you and, and is waiting in the parking lot for you to come out. God want to save him or her too. God want the whole church to grow. Good God Almighty. Are you helping the whole church grow? Are you growing in your church? Or are you one of the ones that's tagging along? Mm hmm? Huh? Yeah, you should be uh, uh, one of the ones who are getting strong to help the weak. Because they're going to be some weak ones. They're going to be some young ones. Amen. They're going to be, but, 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 but are you going to be able to help them? Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who, uh, 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 who John the Baptist is, please? So I've been in church 20 years and I don't even know myself. <laughs> no, now you can't answer the children like that. You should be able to tell them, yeah, that's, that, that's Jesus' cousin. Yeah, he was born a few months before Jesus. That's just Jesus' cousin. That's, that, that's, that, 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 that's uh, uh, Elizabeth and Zachariah's son. You should be able to give them some answers. Hmm? Huh? God bless you. That's all we're talking about. First of all, we got to get out of here. Ready and read. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They had power in Matthew 10. But on this day of Pentecost, when they got together and did the right thing, then they all were filled with the Holy Ghost. 
You have to have that Holy Ghost, my sister. You have that problem too big for you. Medication not going to help you. Them drugs not going to help you. Running around, spending all your money shopping every week not going to help you. But it make me feel better. You'll feel better, but you'll be broke. <laughs> you need the Holy Ghost to help you do this thing. God wants to help you if you let him. Good Lord Almighty. It said, and began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit, capital S. Y'all see that? In verse 4, capital S. The Holy Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. We're going to stop right there today. I, I, I apologize. Lord knows I thought I had planned on, on finishing this thing today. But it's some more there. It's some more waiting for us. We we had to slow down our our, our rate of eating. Amen. Uh, uh, God just showed me we would have been eating too fast today. We would have choked out by trying to cover too much and not let it soak in. So I want to thank God. God sometimes intervenes because he knows what we need before we ask him. So I thank you for joining in today to this wonderful Bible study. Miss Gregory, all of you have joined in. God bless you. I love all of you. I pray you have a wonderful rest of the week. For those who miss, uh, 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 <laughs> all right, Vicky, all right, I'm, 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 we're going to stick in this Bible study, right? amen, and, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, those who missed last week, you got to go grab it, last week bills on this week for last Wednesday, if you have family or friends or sharing it, you let them know, they got to see last week in order to get this week. And then you got to have this week to get next week. Because next week information, I guarantee you. Amen. It's going to make all of us stronger and better believers. God bless you. I hope you had a wonderful day. Please know Pastor Bridges love you. Bruce, God bless you, Bruce. Baddest guitar player. Amen. In the Southeast. That's him right there. Amen. We love you, man. God bless you. I Earl got the brakes on. Oh, man. I'm just looking at the road a little bit before I pray. Pray much for the Girodi family, Brother Douglas Girodi and his wife, Miss Millie Way, Willie May, uh, otherwise known as Cowboy, and, 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 and Miss Cowboy. Amen. Uh, they have another son that is going through some difficult times. They've had the death, amen, uh, from COVID, amen, in their family all year. Amen. And now they have another son that had an aneurysm. Amen. He's in the hospitalized in the Philadelphia area. Amen. They did surgery to stop it. And, and um, we need the prayer warriors today. You got that power to pray. I want you to pray with me in a few minutes. Amen. As we pray for them. Amen. Also, we ask if prayers for uh, Miss uh, Jackie Sims and her family. Amen. She is in uh, the Baltimore area. Amen. Up there for a funeral when her aunts, her, her niece went to glory. Her niece went to glory by the name of Josephine Johnson. Miss Josephine Johnson with the home to be with the Lord. Her funeral will be September the 17th, which we will be tomorrow at 1030. Amen. At the Vaughn Green Funeral Home there in Maryland. Please remember again the uh, uh, the Galt family down in um, Jonesville. Much love for you. And just pray for others who are going through the storm. Amen. There are many uh, schools now and a lot of teams are counseling out this week. Amen. The COVID is starting to take over some of these schools and football teams and, and um, departments. And um, uh, you just have to be careful out there. Amen. If you can, wear your mask. Wear your mask and, and keep those hands clean. God bless you so much. Amen. Please keep in mind we do have uh, uh, um, other things that are going on. And those who would like to participate. Amen. Uh, again, in this Cherokee County, amen, a long range uh, planning committee. Please, uh, if you live in Cherokee County, Amen. Uh, uh, we prefer, but if you don't, amen, call me anyway. Call me, uh, 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 let me know, uh, let Chef Man know uh, your name, your number, and your email so you can be a part of this process. They never opened it up to the public uh, uh, to this degree before. So, again, uh, the things you've been saying, Cherokee County need or won't, this is the time. Please, you are a taxpayer. Please, you have lived here. You know about Cherokee County. Amen. You know where we've been. Amen. We want you to be a part of where we're headed. God bless you, Miss Byers down in Jacksonville and, and Brother Walter uh, down there in, in Florida. God bless you. I love y'all so much. Amen. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you uh, for this wonderful lesson today. We thank you for how you moved. God, in our midst, we thank you, God, for these scriptures. 
God, we thank you for the excitement of the gospel. God, we thank you for your power that's still saving. God, that's still drawing us, oh God, from the north, south, east, and west. Oh God, we thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your people. And God, allow us to know that we have power and we have the Holy Ghost power. God, and with those together and with, uh, God, the right atmosphere, with the right team, God, with the right uh, family of believers, God, uh, lives can continue to grow into many, many new ways of blessing. God, I pray for blessings. I pray, God, that you will keep us from seeing and unseen danger. I pray that you will protect us, God, from uh, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, sir, God, I pray that you will protect, God, those under the sound of my voice and those who will see this video, this 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 uh, Bible study later. God, I pray that you allow us to be aware of, God, who's around us. God, whether they're evil or, or, or gentle or saved, God, help us to know. God, we don't know if you don't let us know. And God, I pray down in our soul that you let us know that we're growing. Let us know, God, that we're seeking you. And you said in your word, you will find me if you seek me with your whole heart. God, somebody been seeking for you, but they've been half-hearted. Somebody been seeking, God, but they've just been 10%. God, somebody been seeking, God, but they've been 35%. But I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that their faithfulness and commitment to you will go 100 and, uh, and even go off the chart. God, that they'll show their love by their life and by their giving. God, I thank you. Bless us. God, we pray for the bereaved amongst us. You, we've already called their names. And God, I pray that you will continue to bless uh, those in nursing homes everywhere. Those in rehab everywhere. God, and even my father, as he goes through this situation. Father, you did bring him this far to leave him. Thank you. Hold him. Take him by the hand and don't let go. Thank you. God, keep us safe until we shall meet again. In Jesus' name, all the believers said amen. Come on. Huh? What did you say? Did you say amen? Huh? This is your time to say it. Come on. Come on. Did you have a good time? Amen. Now, don't forget. Amen. Don't forget. Amen. Sunday services out there. Amen. Ezekiel 37. Amen. The power of preaching. Amen. I'm guaranteed that's why preaching is so important. And again, if you did miss last Wednesday Bible study, all you got to go back and get the replay. Amen. And again, my friend, at 10 this Sunday morning, Concord Baptist Church Facebook Live, you too. Amen. We'll be there. Amen. The Lord spare us and the Lord's will. We will praise him one more time. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Please know that Pastor Bridges loves you. Amen. And I pray, amen, that you love me. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.